guys what is up welcome back to the channel i feel like i'm welcoming myself back to the channel because i haven't uploaded a video in like two months but exciting day i'm going to pick up another svx all right guys i can officially claim the title as i've bought the world's cheapest svx i paid fifty dollars for this car right here now I do not have a title it's pretty beat up on the exterior but the interior which I can't open up this door all the way is so much nicer than my other car like I have so many parts on this car that will be perfect for my blue car and I'm pretty stoked about the rear windshield wiper because I heard that that is a really rare option. So that's cool. This one happens to be a 94 as well and it is front wheel drive as well. But $50, couldn't pass it up. Dude wanted it gone. Uh, it does not run. I did run when he started taking it apart except for like the radiator had cracked on him and that's why the radiator was off. Then he took the intake manifold off and uh, some other stuff. But the motor did run about a year ago or so when he bought it for $300 uh, with no title. And um, yeah, so basically this is a parts car. I have a front headlight that is not cracked on this car that I needed. There's just a bunch of random little small stuff that I really needed and this car is going to fulfill all of it. Uh, this window actually does roll up or it does, it's no, it doesn't go up. It's in here, but uh, it's been stuck down or something. So I'm gonna have to bag the window like he had been doing. But I'm really stoked as to see that it has good interior-ish. So, yeah. Uh, not really much more to say other than it's got like 180,000 miles as to where my other one has like 200. Oh, another thing that this one has too is this piece, which is like the bottom of the steering column cover, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it, like the bottom dash. I don't, I don't know. But uh, I really needed this, and on the other car, this wasn't there. So I'm super happy about this guy right here. This whole bottom piece. Oh yeah, this one has ABS too. Mine didn't have ABS. This one has a lot more, um, a lot more options than mine had. Like mine was very, very base. This one even has a sunroof, which I'm so glad mine doesn't because I'm trying to make power. And usually cars with sunroofs they tend to flex a lot more than um, ones without. So really glad about that. But it is kind of cool to see one with a sunroof. And this one also has, holy shit. Oh my God, that's so sick. This one doesn't have the sliding fucking seat belts. Oh, that's so dope. So mine has the seat belts that slide up on the um, A-pillar. And this one doesn't. Holy shit, that means I'll probably be able to like swap some shit out and make mine not have the stupid slidey seat belts. Dude, okay, that's sick right there. All right, guys, it's the next day, and I've been doing some thinking. And what I plan on doing as of right now, which this might change because my plans always change, but I'm currently cleaning up the back of the inside of my good SVX. Um, and I'm going to clean this up as good as possible. Um, and then install the rear windshield wiper that is on this one. That's something I for sure want on the rear. I think I'm gonna change out this rear uh, light in the center because this one is like it just doesn't line up right. I can't get it to pop into place and it's like bulged out. So that one over here does not do that. I'll show you all this one. So it's like on the bottom, you can see it makes like a pretty good seal and it's like flat on there. So I'm probably gonna get this, the rear windshield wiper and 
I'm going to start putting all the trunk dress up back in. I need to cut out a new panel because both of these cars had warped cardboard that covers that big gaping hole. And I'll put these little things on there so it'll slide in. And so I'm gonna start working from the back to the front and just start making it a, a real car again. I'm probably, I don't know the extent of that carpet, but I'm betting you it's better than this carpet. They're not the same color, and this is where I come into a predicament. Wait, I actually, I don't think they're the same color. This car is a, a tan interior, and the carpet, you know, I don't really care about carpet color because, well, here's what I'm getting to. I'm definitely gonna save this carpet just in case, but it's pretty ate up. But my papa does interior, so now that I have good seats and stuff, and the rest of my interior, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna mangle together a full set of interior for this car. I'll throw it all in. It's gonna be mix matched as fuck. Like the dash isn't gonna match the seats or the side panels or anything, unless I wanna get that dash, which it's, it looks like it's in worse condition than this one, but I don't know. And I'm just gonna put a full interior into this car with it all cleaned out, throw the interior in and see what I'm working with. Then I can take it back out and get my papa who does uh, upholstery to redo the whole, the whole interior, like rewrap it with leather or whatever, however they do that. And um, then I'll have a full interior for this car. Then I'll be able to start working on uh, other things. But I am going to pull the motor out of this car and have it not gonna worry about the trans. So I'm gonna get a few more items off this car. And then once I switch everything out, I'm probably going to part out the rest of it and or give it to um, uh, my friend Saheed. He has a Subaru part out up in Huntsville and I'm sure he wouldn't mind this chilling up there getting parted out. He can just probably have it once I'm done with it. So, um, because this this body is the body of this car is just shot this and it doesn't have a title blah, blah blah so yeah just just parts just parts and i want the motor but yeah those are the plans as of right now